Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the filtering options that's available in just about every radar detector these days. That's gonna help you deal with uh, false alerts, both from uh, cars with those blind spot monitoring systems, as well as those of you who drive on highways and you have uh, traffic sensors that blast out radar periodically, designed for like monitoring traffic and that kind of stuff. Now the filter that we're gonna be talking about, uh, different manufacturers will call it different things, even though they all pretty much do the same thing. Uh, in escort terminology, it's called TSR, or traffic sensor rejection. In Valentine lingo, they call it TMF, or traffic monitor filter. In Whistler terminology, they call it TSFR, or traffic sensor filter rejection. Different names, they all do the same thing. And basically all the filter does is it filters out any short bursts of radar. And just to show you that real quick, uh, I've got an Escort Passport Max 2, and I've got a K-Band Custom Raptor RP1. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the effect of the filter. So to show you this real quick, I've got uh, the Max 2 hooked up to Escort Live, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, adjust everything with my phone, just makes it a little bit easier. And just to show you real quick that it is connected, if I go down to color, you'll see if I switch the different colors, you'll see on the screen it goes to red, green, whatever color. So you can see it is paired, it is connected. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the random, uh, or to the radar bands, and you'll see I've got uh, K-band turned on, and I've got TSR turned off. And what that means is if I go ahead and trigger the radar gun quickly, like that, you'll notice in that situation it went ahead and alerted. So we've got, what, 24.111 coming out of this gun. Cool. Uh, what we'll go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and enable TSR. So press that, and done. Okay, now what we've done is we've enabled TSR, and what this filter is gonna do is it's gonna filter out any brief, short bursts of radar and only allow longer bursts of radar to come through. So, if we do the same sort of thing here with the radar gun, you'll notice we've got no alert here on the MAX-2. We'll do the same thing, notice filtered out. If we go a little bit longer, you'll notice it takes a little bit of time for that alert to pop up, right? Okay, if we go back in here again real quick and we, uh, where is it? Radar settings, we'll go back in and we'll just uh, disable TSR. Do that, we'll let it unlatch here real quick. Okay, give it a couple seconds and if we trigger now, you'll notice the alert happens uh, almost instantly. It's much, much quicker. So, basically what the filter is gonna do is it's gonna be filtering out any longer duration alerts. And, oh, that's still muted. It may have been lashed, but whatever. You'll see, that's the idea. And so, pros and cons, right? Why would you want to use this filter? Well, number one, uh, it's going to be filtering out, ideally, like originally what it was designed for, it's designed for people who drive on the highway and have those traffic sensors. And uh, the idea is it's only in certain parts of the country, and you can check the RDFGS to see where it is. But basically, some places in the country, they have... Uh, these sensors installed next to the highway all up and down the freeway and it monitors things like traffic conditions If there's a lot of traffic if there's not much traffic that stuff gets reported to Google Maps and all this kind of stuff Right, so some of those things not all of them, but some of the way that they do all that traffic monitoring stuff is through radar uh, Radar measurement systems now the way those things operate is every mile or so They'll just blast out this short burst of radar and as you're driving your radar detector will keep going off as you're driving. And so, if you're in one of those situations, you'll definitely want to enable the filter to filter out these short bursts of radar. Now, what we found is that uh, this filter also has a really nice, helpful second benefit that's applicable to, well, almost everybody. And that is, by introducing this delay, it helps filter out uh, many, not all, but many of the blind spot monitoring systems uh, that you'll see in a whole bunch of different cars. So, if you enable this, it'll help deal with the false alerts not only from those traffic sensors, if you have them, and you may or may not. But almost everybody has to deal with false alerts from uh, blind spot monitoring systems, and TSR will help you filter out many of those signals. There's also uh, another filter, uh, auto mode, which uh, a lot of detectors offer, and basically what it does is it actually reduces the maximum sensitivity on uh, some of the bands, such as on K-band. So typically your highway mode is gonna be full sensitivity on all bands and your city or your auto modes are actually gonna reduce sensitivity and say any weak signals at a distance, I wanna go ahead and filter those out. So that's done by reducing sensitivity. TSR is done by introducing a delay. So you'll see, uh, if we go ahead and trigger it again, you'll see in that case, the alert was almost instant. That's with uh, TSR turned off. So 
uh, downsides. Why would you uh, maybe not want to do it if it's helpful for filtering out blind spot monitoring systems? Well, uh, two main reasons. Number one, you're going to be having a uh, performance hit, and this is one of the biggest ones. Actually, well, let's come to this one second. The first one is going to be you do have the possibility of missing any brief uh, bursts of radar. And so if, uh, you know, the shot is relatively quick, there is the possibility that your radar detector could actually miss the shot. So if we go ahead and turn TSR back on, if a uh, radar shot is happening, oh, in that case I caught it. I didn't do it fast enough, but you'll see you do have to go pretty quickly to actually get this. So if there is a brief burst of radar, uh, it's possible that your radar detector will miss it because it's thinking it's one of these uh, traffic sensors and it's filtering them out. Uh, so something to keep in mind. Now, by doing this, there is also going to be a performance benefit, which is you're going to be reducing the range. Now, it's interesting because TSR doesn't actually reduce the sensitivity, yet in practice it does reduce the maximum range. Why is this? Well, let me give you an analogy. Let's say you're listening to the radio, and if you're in town, you're really close to the radio station, you're going to be getting an awesome, quality, strong, clean, clear signal, right? You're going to hear it really well, it's going to sound fantastic. Now what happens when you start leaving town and you're driving away from the city? Well, you're going to start hearing that signal fade, right? The quality is going to start to kind of get scratchy and it goes in and out and eventually it just drops off. And when you're at those fringe detection ranges, you know, far away where you can still barely pick it up but not really, the signal kind of goes in and out, right? It's not a constant steady signal. Now if you have your radar detector set to filter out any brief signals that are not steady, uh, it will actually effectively reduce your range because it's not allowing those short bursts of radar through. So, you will actually get reduced range by enabling TSR. And I actually did a test with this with a whole bunch of different detectors recently. And I'll put the videos, or the, uh, some test results up on screen so you can see it. And I'll also put uh, links in the video description. But basically we did some testing with the red line and we saw when we enabled uh, auto mode or TSR or even a combination of the two, range decreased. We did the same thing with uh, the MAX-2 here, where uh, TSR and auto mode again reduced range. Uh, we did the same thing with the V1, where uh, we used TMF, we tested that detector with TMF and the next generation version of it, TMF-2, which they're calling Junk K-Fighter. Same thing, enable the feature, you will get reduced range. Tested it with the Cobras, with the Whistlers, a whole bunch of other detectors, and uh, pretty much across the board, that's what you'll see. The only exception that I've seen to this, the only exception, are the unit in detectors. And the exception there is uh, their K-band filter does not actually help filter out uh, traffic monitor systems. And so if you live in an area where traffic filters are, or uh, those traffic monitoring systems are in use, the unit in filters cannot actually filter them out because it doesn't actually do that. And because it's not introducing a delay, we saw that it doesn't actually reduce the range when you have the K-band filter turned on, which is kind of interesting. That's the one exception, but pretty much everything else, uh, you will see reduced performance and reduced range by enabling TSR, but you will have uh, better filtering of traffic monitor systems and blind spot falses. So, uh, you know, basically just stuff good to know. That's uh, how your radar detector is operating, that's what it does, and that's what this feature works, or that's what the feature does and how it works. Um, would I recommend running it? I typically do myself, just to help deal with a lot of the false alerts. Uh, you'll see that it definitely can still alert to radar no problem, even with the filter enabled, uh, you will have somewhat of a performance hit. Uh, the times when I personally turn TSR off is when I'm driving out in the mountains and I don't have as much uh, traffic. I don't have as many cars that are going to be just spewing blind spot junk, right? So in those situations, I'll go ahead and turn TSR off because I want maximum performance. I want as much, much reach as I can get. I'm in the mountains. It's tough terrain. There's a lot of trees around. I want as much performance as I can get and I don't have as many uh, of the problematic false alerts to deal with. In that case, I would turn TSR off. But in town, it's very helpful. It'll just help quiet things down and uh, deal with a lot of the false alerts so that you know your detector is more reliable. Again, it's not perfect. It's not bulletproof. There is no implementation yet of uh, blind spot monitoring, filtering, or TSR, or anything that com can completely deal with all of the blind spot falses that you'll see. But this is one way that you can deal with them, and this feature is, in a is available on a whole bunch of different detectors. Again, different names by different manufacturers, but it's all the same thing. It's just a, a certain delay, some detectors a little bit more, some detectors a little bit less, but a small delay just to help filter out any short bursts of radar. So there you go. Hope that's been helpful. If you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask down in the comment area below. 
Uh, I'll put some, uh, again, some links down in the video description to some test results so you can actually see what kind of uh, performance impacts you'll see with a couple different detectors. Be something helpful to just run through, peruse, and uh, cool. Till next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.